I found this mixer. It is grapefruit and lime. I put some fresh lime in it and I mixed it with Hendrix and it is delicious. So today I am doing something I have never done before. I am very excited about this. So I had this idea to kind of step out of my comfort zone. Do a makeup look that's like a full beat, right? Like all the bells and whistles. So I was trying to think of like a fun kind of different way for me to go about that. And I know some YouTubers have like followed other YouTubers tutorials. I was like, you know what? That's a good idea. I'm going to do that. And who better, who better to emulate than Jaclyn Hill if I'm going to do a full beat? I found a tutorial of hers. It's actually pretty new. It is called Flirty and Feminine Makeup Tutorial Spring 2021. I, I, I really don't know a lot about it. We're just going to turn it on. You're going to watch it with me. You're going to watch me do the whole process along with Jaclyn. And that's all I got. We're just, <laughs> we're just going to get into it. I am so excited to be sitting down and filming just an old school makeup tutorial right now. Like, I know it sounds so weird, but I feel like technically makeup tutorials, it's like an OG thing at this point on YouTube. Everything is like lifestyle and like organization videos and tags and mm, DIYs mm -hmm, and so on and so mm -hmm, forth. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I just miss sitting down and doing makeup so much. Like that's my favorite thing to do. That's how my entire career started. Back to me. I have been wearing this makeup look like crazy. It's been my go-to and anytime that I'm on Insta stories, I cannot believe how much my Instagram, like my DMs are flooded by people asking me to do this look. And I hope I don't let you down because honestly, it's such a simple look, which maybe that's why you've been requesting it, but I'm like, it's really not that complex. So like, I hope you guys aren't let down by how easy it is, but it just makes me feel really feminine. Oh my God, wait, and hold, pause. And even though... We're not only doing a Jaclyn Hill makeup tutorial, but I happen to choose one that's a simple, easy look. I'm so excited. This is like, this is just the perfect combination. All right, here we go early and even though like I do have a full face of like foundation on it just feels like more natural than the way I was doing my makeup beforehand you know like oh this really is like this is more natural browns, like those deep before, burgundies wow. and coppers and gold and smoky eye and dark liner mm. I'm just so happy to be here right now filming a makeup tutorial and I hope that you guys enjoy it as well and if you do please let a hoe know and anyway give this video a thumbs up oh, subscribe comment just let that? me know if you want to see more makeup videos because I'm totally here for it I'm totally into lifestyle stuff too but like I'm really here for this. A 30 second life update. At this current time and for the past several months, I have not had a photographer, a videographer, or an editor. And I know it seems like ver very bougie, but like everyone in like the influencer community, not everyone, but for the most part, everyone that I know, mm. they all have that help. Mm. So mm -hmm. I have been working really mm -hmm. hard on my brand, Jack and Cosmetics, and getting that off the ground for 2021. So I've really struggled with content, like posting on Instagram and posting here on YouTube and working on all the stuff behind the scenes. Cause I'm working so much on Jaclyn Cosmetics right now that it's like, if I have to edit all my videos as well, I'm literally, I'm gonna be working seven days a week, like 12 hour days and I'm gonna burn myself out. Yeah. So that's where I've been, yeah. but I'm really hoping to find someone really, really, really soon. And then this will no longer be like- God, I hope she finds someone. I'm, channel <clears> I'm sure there's no one at her fingertips. Wanted. This is the glowiest that my skin has ever been naturally. And I swear it's because I'm drinking so much water. Like I've heard people say that, but I've never lived it. I have been drinking so much water recently because- Is, is that what it is? I mentioned this in um, like my winter must haves, this hydro flask that I got. Mm. You guys, I'm not kidding. I drink like four or five of these a day, which is equivalent to about a gallon or a little over. I don't know what it is about this. Like I just drink so much water and I feel like my skin is just always glowy. And it's, that's the only thing that I've changed is my water intake. So I know it's random, but. You guys feel like you it's not really have random. Skin. That's just like age old wisdom, I think. So skin is prepped and primed. Now oh. I'm gonna go in with my foundation. Oh shit, we're I'm using the foundation. Hourglass Vanishing okay. Foundation in the shade Golden Natural. This does not match my actual skin color right now. It's new NARS foundation I recently wait, discovered. Wait, wait, I don't wait, know when this wait, technically wait, came wait, out, wait, but it's wait, new wait, to me and my- Oh my God, she's moving so fast. She's moving so fast. I, you know, I'm not gonna have probably most of the, <laughs> of the things she has. I'm already drunk. I'm probably not gonna have most of the things she has. So um, just, we're gonna find some dupes. Okay, I don't have stick concealer because I hate stick concealer. The closest thing I can come to is um, this R this RCMA makeup palette that I used when I was doing makeup freelance. This is very like cake, like pancake makeup stick like foundation in my opinion. So I guess I'm gonna go 
in with that, we're gonna emulate the pattern Jacqueline has done. I'm just using like the lightest, I don't know. I, I, honestly, I don't know. This isn't as thick as what she's using for some reason. I just feel like it's not enough, but you know what? We'll, we'll, uh, we'll go in with multiple layers if we have to. If we have to, that's what we're gonna do. <sighs> stressed out. She's put a stick foundation on her face and she's now procured a bottle of foundation, a NARS bottle of foundation, as though she's about to go in on top of the stick foundation with the NARS foundation. And um, okay, you know what? We're just like, we're trusting the process. It is the Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation. I'm gonna be using shade Stromboli. I love this because it really is long wearing and it's like, a, I would say like a, medium to buildable coverage. And I just think that it's so beautiful, especially over top of this hourglass foundation. Cause I love this hourglass foundation so much, but I feel like it does need a partner in crime. Like it looks its best when it's matched with something else to help blend it out. Otherwise I don't die for it completely alone, but oh, okay. it, these two blend okay. out she's, so She's moving a mile together. a minute. Look, we're pausing it for a second. Okay. I don't, I don't have that foundation, but she's using a medium coverage foundation on top of a, a stick foundation. Um, so I'm just gonna use this Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator um, because it literally on the tube says it's a medium coverage and I'm drunk so I literally need tubes to tell me what to do basically. Okay she looks like she just like recklessly slather this everywhere as though it's a lotion. So I'm gonna do that. I have to say, I've never seen someone like basically use a stick foundation as a primer. I know she's kind of like mixing the two, but it feels like she primed her face with a stick foundation and is doing a double layer of an entirely different foundation. Um, I'm dropping shit. We'll see. I feel like maybe I didn't use enough, honestly. I feel a little bit like I'm playing it safe. We're going big or going home here. I can already tell. So beautifully together. Oh, bitch, that's full coverage. I love Ooh, it. She loves okay, that full first coverage. half of the mask is applied. Now I'm gonna go in with concealer. I am oh, wow, using already concealer. Morphe okay. I feel like I'm going to need to go out clubbing tonight for this look. But you know what? We're we'll see. Concealer. I am using the Morphe Concealer in shade C2.35. Okay. I look like a psychopath right now. Like, do you ever just stop in the middle of doing your makeup and think about someone who has like never applied makeup before looking over at you like at this point during the process and they're just like, like it's so aggressive. Like when I first started dating Jordan, I would not let him see me while I was doing my makeup. That definitely faded away very quickly. But at first I was like, oh my God, I don't want him to see me because you look so crazy like at this point. Oh and then like when you only have on like your eyebrows and like nothing else or when you're baking, like you just look crazy. So I wouldn't let him see me do my makeup. Be like, all right, be back in an hour. And I would just like leave the room, lock the door and do my makeup and then come out and be like, hello, I've arrived. I will be 15 years old. All right, the full mask is applied. We are looking radiant, <laughs> smooth, we? creamy and dreamy. A cream dream, if you will. Oh my God, that sounds so disgusting. <laughs> Okay, I really said that. You know, growing up, my mom and dad used to always tell me, Jacqueline, we have a really good idea for you. Before you say things, you should think about it first in your brain mm. and then decide, is this something that I want to say? And then say it if the answer is yes. Sage advice. No, I feel like most people, this is naturally is something that like they just have installed in their brain. I don't have that. Like my filtration system was just very poorly developed. And I say things sometimes, you know, like cream dream, when referring to my makeup. And I feel like this is why I don't have that many friends. Oh, but shit though, my under eyes really do look good. Damn, all right, moving on. Okay, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Under Eye and Face Powder to set my under I eye like area. I I, wait, hold on a use, second. Um, I feel like I didn't put enough concealer on. I feel like I didn't put enough under eye concealer. Also, she like really went hard on the lids. Um, so we're gonna do that. Use the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Under Eye and Face Powder. To I don't set have that. I'm area. using the By Terry. Use, oh, um, shit. Shit. I'm going to use this, this By Terry um, Hyaluronic Hydra Powder, which I've heard is like very intense and can be very full coverage, which I'm, I'm, I'm getting the picture. 
I'm understanding what's happening. I think we're going for a very um, intense powder situation. So let me grab the right brush. Pressing it into the skin. Oh, not and too much. And then I'll go in with my damn beauty sponge and then just kind of um, press it in even more. That way it looks really smooth under there and not dry whatsoever. Okay, now I'm gonna take, this is like such an old school product for me. I used to be obsessed with this powder. It's by Giorgio Armani. What is it actually called? The Luminous Silk Compact. So I'm gonna take this powder right here. Here's another and powder. And put a very small amount of it on my face with a big fluffy brush just we're, to set okay, everything. We're switching powders. And okay, keep got it. it. Hold on a second. Okay, let me, I guess we're doing a press powder now. Um, so let me just switch over to my Charlotte Tilbury. There's like powder everywhere. I'm just a mess. I'm just trying to go at the speed of light here. And we're just, I guess this is a, this is gonna be a light, a light application. Thin and lightweight, and it doesn't look like you have like actual powder on your face. Like it just honestly locks in your foundation and keeps things really smooth. Okay, now I'm gonna go in and warm up the skin so I don't look so insane. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with MAC Give Me Sun. Who remembers this bronzer? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of that. It's just such a pretty like golden undertone. And who remembers this brush, this Tom Ford bronzer brush? Do you guys remember how obsessed I was with this for so many years? I recently like I pulled it out and I was like, yo, why have I not been using this? Like what happened? Okay, I'm just gonna put this up what did happen, higher Jacqueline? on the cheeks. Okay, Charlotte Tilbs, we're breaking it out. so big. Honestly, I don't even like using brushes this big anymore. Like, oh, I feel like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Like not completing my sentences right now, but like, mm -hmm. like that's nice, but I almost feel like it's too big. I'm like so used oh, it's to too going big. in it's too big. with my very chewed up brush from one of my dogs right here and using like a more like precise, okay. I don't know. Well, I don't I'm gonna go in with um, I don't. a Morphe bronzer in the shade Megastar. One of my favorite bronzers There's another bronzer, bronzer? with the- Precisely higher up on the cheek. Oh God, Don't so worry, I'm gonna look crazy for a second, but you know, it always it comes together. It does look crazy, this it's so much bronzer. This is why I didn't let my boyfriend see me do my makeup in the first couple of months. I was like, no, you don't get it. It's rough until it's amazing. <laughs> okay, so something that I have been doing recently, that, like I cannot live without, I mean, that's so dramatic. I cannot live without this, but really like, this has been a game changer for me that I've been doing the past couple of months. I just did it one day and now I cannot do my makeup without it. I just take a, it looks like, it, it's clean, okay? Like there's a little bit of like powder on it maybe, but for the most part, this is a clean brush. Any synthetic like kabuki brush like this, that's like flat or rounded, just kind of yes, stiff. Girl, like use after those I do nails. my bronzer, I literally just take that brush and oh. I just go over everything. Oh, okay, that's what I'm like, doing right I'm now. Well, I'm not using that brush, on right but... now, And Super Bowl is over, bitch, <laughs> even though we won. <laughs> But still, I just smooth all the edges and like literally press all that into my skin. And it just makes everything look so much smoother. Yeah, Airbrushed, blended out. That is better. And just better. That's be it's better. better. It's better. It's better. All right, now I'm gonna contour my nose. I feel like every single time I contour my nose, I'm so excited to do it, but I'm also kind of like, I get so nervous because you mess up your nose contour, you're f***ed. No pressure, none whatsoever, but you're f***ed. Oh. But I think I've got it down at this point. Like I'm pretty quick at it and it's all about the brush. Honestly, oh, I had the well, hardest I'm time fucked. getting like a straight line and like just making it accurate and all that. And really you need a brush like this. And this is an expensive one. This is the Artiste. Look at how dirty my brushes are. Like this is real life though, guys. Welcome. Um, Morphe honestly sells one that I'm not kidding is the exact same thing. I could close my eyes and use them both and I would have no idea which is which. It is the exact same I thing a brush for a like fraction that. of the price. But this right here is so important okay. for, it's not even focusing on it, my God. Um, so important to me for nose contour because I feel like I get the most precise line and it's just in and out quick. I have to do my nose contour really, really close to the mirror. So sorry guys. Okay. Oh my God. I'm like, I don't do nose contour, so this background. is horrific. <gasps> All right, so I have two zebra stripes on my nose right now, but that's okay. Oh, you already like, did it. it. Okay, hold on. Jack, right now, hold on. It... Oh wow, that is, I see what you're saying. That is really, you can really mess this up. You know what? Let's start over. That's just, all right, let's not use that bronzer. Let's do something different. We're gonna use a third bronzer. We're gonna pull out the, the color pop bronzer and see, oh, that's a little bit lighter. That's probably better. It's not that much better though. Like it's really not, it's really not. I don't wanna do this. I don't like this. Please don't make me Jacqueline. This is terrible. Okay, I, I mean, all right. But I promise you, it won't be good back for long. Cause I know you're really concerned about my nose contour right now. Right? I'm you're concerned about my nose contour right now. Same -sies. 
to contour my nose, I always, always, always use Benefit Hoola Bronzer because it's just the shade for me and my skin tone and I can rely on her. She's good to me, she blends easily, all that. This mm. is also the new jumbo size, which I am obsessed with because it's so big. It's literally double size compared to their original one. And this is so convenient because everything just fits into it. Like I will never go back to the small one ever again unless I'm traveling. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the Beauty Bakery Translucent Setting Powder. This is a flower powder, better, not bitter. So cute. Okay. And then I am going to just go ahead and bake my face. Oh my God, we're baking. Wait, me did if I'm she doing take care of the is nose this... contour? Did she blend it out? I'm sorry, like I, I can't have this. This is not allowed. Did I, did I miss that part? Am I just wasted? What's happening? We're baking, understood. Okay, you know what? Um, we're just, we're gonna keep using this by Terry because I feel like it is the heaviest loose powder that I, that I own. So we're just gonna get on in there by Terry. I have never baked, okay? I've never baked. Uh, I, I had a friend tell me it like changed her life and I tried to bake my under eyes one time and I literally felt like I was 85 years old. So, um... Here we go. Absolutely can oh, not skip. I can't believe that there was a life that I lived where I didn't bake. Oh my God, that's so dramatic. Imagine. That's All right, dramatic. so now that we are baked, we're gonna let Wait, this we're cook not baked in about yet. We're not baked. Hold on a second, jeez. Oh my God, I, I literally feel like I'm just taking every ounce of moisture out of my skin that I possibly can. <coughs> This is like a powder beard. That's what we're doing. This is what the kids love. Oh, and she did her nose too. Well, she didn't even, she didn't walk us through this. I'm just, I guess I'm just on my own. All right, we're gonna bake our nose area. Oh my God, it's getting into my eyes. Is this normal? Is this, my God, it's in my contacts. My contacts are gonna be all dry. I'm gonna have to go put in some, um, some eye drops. I think I'm blending it too much. You're supposed to just go like that. I don't have enough powder on. Clearly, I can't compete with Jaclyn Hill. It's just like, it's just like I'm Kris Kringle over here. Let's just, okay. I feel like I'm getting close. Oh, but she's done this part too. I'm stressed out. Okay, we're gonna, I can't even seem to get enough powder to replicate what she's done. About 375 for about 20 to 25 minutes. And in the meantime, I'm going to do my brows. I just recently went ham sandwich on these bitches with a weed whacker and literally tweeze them so hard. My brows are like half the size of what they were. I really just blacked out last night and this morning and lost my mind over it. But it is what it is. My first time filling them in since, so wish me luck and I'll be right back. Good luck. Okay, so now my brows are done. And I really feel like oh my God, I am the brows in are done. a- They're done already. Hold on a second. Oh my God, she's doing all this stuff off camera too. What the hell, that's not fair. All right, let me, um, she's giving me some very intense like um, Instagram brows. So I'm going to grab this Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow dip brow pomade in the shade dark brown there's there aren't enough drinks in the world to get th through this we're gonna do a very sort of drawn on um eyebrow look my brows and i were in a relationship which we are um a very serious one right now we're kind of on a break you know because i'm in that place right now where i'm not really sure what i want out of them but i know that i'm not fulfilled I do know that. So I'm kind of in this place where I'm like, what am I gonna do? Now they're like really thin, which I think suits my face shape, but still, I just like, when it comes to filling them in, I'm still doing my makeup like very old school, if you will. Mm -hmm, like, yeah. you know, this trend that's going on I now, like that. totally natural, super, super fluffy, like glued up brows, you know, and like super, super like skin makeup and all that. I'm on board with it, but not 100%, but I feel like I'm kind of like straddling that line and I'm about to jump. Like I'm about to jump into that full, full on trend. But right now, I'm just trying to figure out what to do with my brows. That's it. Okay. So, okay. I look okay, I feel like that's that's the closest I'm gonna come. Oh, now we're moving on to eyeshadow. All right, here we go. I'm sorry, I need to take a break and go make another drink. I've already made my way through that entire drink and it was very strong. 
Okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. So many requests to show this palette more. I guess I have not given this as much love on camera as I have my original Jaclyn Hill palette with Morphe. So I have been using this so, so, so much recently. So I figured that I would just do like my favorite kind of go-to look right now using these shades. Cause I know it can be really intimidating. And when you look at it, it looks like it's like a bright palette. It's really not, it is so wearable and so Powder easy. In my eye. And because these are so blendable and creamy, like in form formulation, they're so easy to work with and they don't have to be like bad intense on your eyes. Okay, so the first shade I'm gonna go in with is the shade Perfectionist right here, which is this matte kind of soft pinky. All right, with a fluffy brush, I'm, I'm going, going to put this. that right here in the upper outer portion. Oh wow, of there's just a lot of my concealer crease. creased up in there. Oh wow. And I'm gonna okay. bring that inward, but not like as pigmented as the outer area. I want it to always be darker and more oh. like depth, deep in depth. Okay. Have um, more depth? Mm -hmm. That's it. I want it to have more depth on the outer corner of the eye area. Okay. I never do my makeup like this, so I feel like this is gonna turn out like absolute doo-doo. Like using this hula mirror, I do not do that. When I do my makeup, my eye makeup, I take my mirror and I put it on the five times magnification side, and I literally, I'm not kidding, I sit this close to my mirror when I do it. Like I'm like this close. That's how I do my eyeshadow on a normal normal daily basis. Oh, okay, like cool. I get in there. I'm gonna go in with this. This is, what is this? This is my BH Cosmetics Mimosa palette. I mean, listen, I can't promise you I'm gonna have the same shades, but we're gonna use this shade right here. Nothing additional on this brush. I'm drunk, just I'm drunk. Oh wow, here on this, this is color. a lot pinker than her look, color. but we're, we're gonna just go with it. I am giving you a very pigmented pink coral eye because it's, seemingly the closest I could come, but apparently not. I want you to know that I literally feel like a 3000 year old mummy right now. Like I feel so caked up and so dry. Even my lips are being parched by this powder on my face. This is appalling. All right, I have to blend this out. This is too much. I'm literally just taking like the biggest brush I have that can be applied to my eye and just like going in. I'm gonna take comfort zone and also put it on my lower lash line as well. Oh. Okay. I'm just using a pencil brush. I don't think this I wanna like do that. pencil brush ever for this. It's the Morphe E18. Okay. It holds such a great amount of product. And I'm just gonna run this and buff it all along the lower lash line. Okay, okay. I'm gonna have to literally take a second to go and put some Lumify drops in because I uh, I can't see. I literally can't see. All that I can see is just like powder. Love a good pink eye moment. Okay, now I'm gonna grab the shade Thick Skin right here, which is such a pretty color. It's kind of rusty. Oh my God, there's it's another like pinky, shade. Kind of brick rust shade, so beautiful. Also keep in mind, you guys, that these shadows are really pigmented. So a tiny bit is gonna go a long way. Do not like get in there and then go on. You're gonna be like, like crazy pigment. But all I'm gonna do is just tap this right there in the outer corner. And this is just going I'm to just give gonna, this I don't know. We're just a little bit more of a three-dimensional look because of like the rust and the depth in this shade. And I'm just gonna pick up the shade Central Park. It's the super, super dark matte brown. Any matte brown will do. It does not need to be this specific one if you don't own this palette. Okay. And I'm just gonna take a stiff brush and I'm just gonna literally line my eyes and create eyeliner with a dark matte brown. Okay, God, more powder. Okay, here we go. I feel like I'm gonna look like Ronald McDonald at the end of this. Like that might be the closest comparison. I didn't do this intensive makeup even when I was doing theatrical makeup. I just have to say, this is like beyond anything I've ever done. So open and bright and I love it. So I curl my lashes every single time now before I apply them. All right, ready? Say one, two, three. Just like magic, eight. Hey, just like magic. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit okay. more. Well, I fucking hate false lashes. I knew she was gonna use them because it's Jaclyn Hill, but like, I I don't know guys, I might just do, all right, I'm gonna do them, fine. I'm gonna, get, go, I'm gonna go get them. All right, you know what, fuck this shit. I spent the last 15 minutes doing this. We're not doing this, we're just doing mascara. This is why I don't do false lashes. They make me angry, they're uncomfortable, they look, not real and I hate them and I'm throwing them out. I just did a shit ton of mascara for all the mascarins out there. Come for me, bitch. Time to remove the bake down here. Oh just my so God, you know, it's time to remove to the bake. She just said it's time to remove it. Oh my God, okay. Hold on a second. Let me finish blowing out my eyes. I feel elderly. Remove 
the bake down oh here. God. Just so you know, you don't have to leave your translucent powder on your face to bake for that long. Like honestly, if you wanna leave it on for 60 seconds, it will still help clean oh, up well, now you and make say things it. look not as sloppy, kind of erase stuff and also set stuff into place. It doesn't have to actually sit there for like 20, seconds. 30 minutes. Okay, so for blush, I'm gonna go in with this Physicians Formula Butter Blush in the shade Coco, Co no, not Coco, sorry, Copper Cabana. <laughs> Cute. I'm just gonna put that on the apples. All right, let me find a blush. Let me find a blush. Thank God they're, we're doing blush, something I can actually handle. It looks like a corally tropical sort of shiny situation. It's luminous. So I'm using, I haven't used this in a long time, but this is my Laura Geller um, Baked Blush and Brighten in Tropic Hues. All of those like pinky shades on, and this blush is also gonna complement that and be very monochromatic. I do wanna bring it up kind of like in this area. That way it sits next to the okay. eye look. I like that. I like that. I like I'm going to take just a little bit of my mood light powder. This came out for holiday of 2019. Um, and I'm going to just highlight my nose a tiny bit, like not a lot. Okay, let's pull out a highlighter here. I'm feeling like my skin could like crack in a million places at any moment. Put that highlight on my chin as well, but that's it. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> um, because I do not want my face to be like uber highlighted. So a little bit more mattified okay. is the vibe Why are we today? holding back on a highlighter, but everything else is just, doing? just like 17 <coughs> layers. Woo! Okay. Almost took a lash off. She said, don't do too much highlight, but I feel like, I mean, just to kind of go along with everything else, we kind of need to just get in there. Okay, lip is on and done. Oh. Sadly, I cannot tell you what the slip color is yet, but you will know soon. But isn't it pretty? <laughs> All right, I'm going to give my face a little spritz. Okay, let me, this is the closest I could come. This is my Charlotte Tilbury in Amazing Grace. This is like a, a pinky coral shade. It's not as dry as hers. I feel like she's wearing a very, very dry liquid lip, but you know what? We're gonna take the moisture where we can get it. All right, I'm going to give my face a little spritz of the Farsali Rose Gold Skin Mist. This is a dewy spray. Um, I'm not gonna overdo it, just a little bit. Oh. Oh, okay, it's, it's a lot. All right, you guys, that is it for this finished look. As you can see, it's seriously so simple. It doesn't take much skill and you can have fun with it. You do not have to use all the same colors I use. I just love this very like monochromatic kind of like mauve rosy look right now. I typically, you know me, I'm always about like warm browns and just like, burgundies and coppers and golds. And recently I've been doing this a lot and I just love it. I feel so like feminine and fresh when I'm wearing this look. So I hope you guys feel the same. If you guys recreate this look or are inspired by this look, please make sure, I don't know why my hand is up here so aggressively, but please make sure to tag me on socials so that I can like it, so that I can comment, so that I can repost you, all that jazz. I would love to see your looks creating this. So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy. I love you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Bye. Um, okay, so I, <laughs> this is what it was all about. It was all about stepping outside of my comfort zone, doing something totally different. Um, and I was very entertained by Jaclyn Hill. I mean, she is, uh, it's like she had seven Red Bulls before she filmed that. You know, it's a lot of bronzer. It's a lot of blush. It's a lot of everything. It's a lot of everything. Thank you guys so much for joining me. This was actually really fun to film. Let me know in the comments if like you enjoyed this situation, this this style of video. I think I'm drunk. I can't remember the last time I did a video and I made it through one and a half strong drinks. That's a lot. That's a lot in a video. Anyway, I think you need to go eat, but thank you so much if you are enjoying. Uh, my content and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and also um, give this a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. <laughs> Drunk. Okay. All right, guys, I will see you. When will I see you? What is today? Today is Thursday. I will see you again on Sunday when I put out my next video. I'm not going to cheers anything. Okay, bye.